Everybody, <coughs> I'm here today to teach you math. Do you all want to learn math? No! Rump no! Rumpy! No! no! Rumpy, dear God! No! 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 I did not let you guys into the Winnebago so you could teach people math! But math is fun! No! Cool! Oh! 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 I think I chipped a tooth. You'll chip a lot more if you try teaching math. Now, if you need me, I'll be in the other room. Thanks, Doc. Oh, yeah, the Doc is so weird. So how many times have we seen this intro? I lost track. Uh, we're currently on... I think we're currently on... Because we're currently on Amy's part, I think we would have cannot... we would have seen this about uh, four times. I found the image, by the way. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna send it. I, I'll send it to you personally, but I might put it in the Ha Fighting channel later. But um, <laughs> I forgot I had this. Let's see if I can uh, see if see if Discord will actually let me send that. Ah, yes, it does. Perfect. That's not the image. I just wanted to see if I could send that. I forgot I had it. Let's begin. Time for Amy's part. I don't remember what I have her wearing. I'm also not looking, so you're going to have to tell me. Uh, she's got a hat. Oh right, okay. I I remember now. She's wearing. She should be wearing the um. Every day's the same old thing. Same place, different day. She should be wearing the um. Hanging out with my hero, Sonic. I can't think of something. Um. It's a Poyo Poyo, themed outfit. I like that they made a model of metal. I think they reused the same animation twice for two different areas. Also, I, I I like that they made a model for for Metal as well, um, especially because the Sonic DX port, the the Sonic DX port, which is the version that is on PC, um, Sonic DX port does actually make him playable. Hmm. Oh no, we switched renderings. Um, I, so, just bring it up, Sonic Adventure basically takes place over the course of, like, three days. Eggman, can it be? Amy's story starts on day two. Ah! You take all the bed! Burp, burp. <laughs> What's this? Oh no, it's a robot. Uh, uh -oh. Get away from me, robot. Also, it's weird because the burger shop, um, there's supposed to be the burger shop, the statue in front of the burger shop, um, statue's not there oh, no. in the cutscene. Because you you can see where the where the statue is supposed to be. The the statue just is not there. It feels weird. That was one of Eggman's robots, huh? He must have killed Allegedly. you, and somehow you got away, right? Tweet. Worry, I'll protect you. Tweet. I'll do my best to keep us both from harm. I'll stand by you all the way. Tweet. 
Ah, oh, there's a Burger Man statue. I Let's like see. that little... I like that little, um... Poyo Poyo beanie. Um... So... So... Full dis... Full dis... Eh, eh. Can you not hear me? Rump. Rumpy! 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 I can hear him. Hang on. Uh oh. My hero, Sonic. We'll be right back, guys. You're watching Sonic X. The military's top secret weapon, Project Shadow, was stolen from the military base located on the deserted island in the southern seas. This incident increased worldwide terrorist activities. Sonic the Hedgehog was arrested. The adventure for truth leads to the incidents that shock the entire world. The story takes our hero Sonic from the Earth and into outer space. Sonic Adventure 2, Hero Side Story. Farewell, Sonic. Forever. Now, back to Sonic X, only on 4Kids TV. All right. I think that's Bad. supposed. To... Uh, it should be Sonic and the Secret Rings, Sonic. What? That song? Yeah, the song. Seems like, little... seem like a little flame pendant or something, or. Oh, um, if you look. Desperate. Can't do that. If you look closely, you can actually. Um, he, he is actually wearing the ring from Secret Rings. Unfortunately, that's like all you can see of that model. That tells him. That tells you that's the Secret Rings model, which does kind of suck. I think at some point I do switch from that model over to. Um, I want to say the Sonic Riders model, because that one at least has more visual difference. Um, but yeah, you, uh, you can see on his right hand, he does have the um, ring from Seer Ring. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. Um, so I did... Look, Knuckles! Or right, look, look, Rumpy! Cute couple's getting free! <laughs> oh no, I'm not doing that again. You take Sophie. <laughs> Come on, Sophie! Cute couple's getting free! Okay, can I wear the dress? Yeah, sure. Yay! Rap, get my wig! <laughs> <laughs> I love that joke more when I, <laughs> last time we did it with during Sonic's playthrough. Because I added in, um, there was a video from Find the Computer Room where it's just them and Some Call Me Johnny going to the real station square in Pittsburgh and recreating different different scenes from Sonic Adventure. And one of them is just go them going to a random theme park and doing the, um, <laughs> cute couple's getting free. And then immediately after, it's just two of the, it, it's just two of the guys like, what do you mean denied? <laughs> <laughs> so it it's so in the Sonic playthrough, you just it's just me. Come on, Rumpy, cute couple's getting free, and then it immediately cuts. What do you mean tonight? <laughs> Why did you let me do my makeup glitch? I could have helped us. Yeah, I probably could have. I keep trying to say mention something about uh, about Amy, and I and every time I think of saying it, I end up saying something else. Um, so I'm sure a lot of people have noticed that Amy has the ability to glide over hammer. That's not a an ability she normally has in Sonic Adventure. That is actually a mod that I have enabled, which 
gives certain characters more abilities. Um, I I really like that mod mostly because of Amy because it's not that Amy's gameplay in the first Sonic Adventure is completely terrible. At least I don't find it terrible. Um, but the the added moves that she does get with the mod are really helpful. Like she she has the hammer spin. She like I, uh, like I mentioned, she has a glide that she doesn't normally have, which kind of reminds me of how Amy plays in Sonic Frontiers because uh, she she has a glide in Sonic Frontiers as well, where um. Instead of her hammer, she uses a, um, she uses tarot cards. Yeah, I never understood what the deal was with was the tarot cards. I know that's a canon thing, but... Uh, it was something from Sonic Advent from Sonic CD. She, uh, originally... Yeah, I, yeah orig she used tarot cards to predict the future and all that, I know yeah, that. Yeah, in, I, in I just... Sonic CD, or, her, the original concept, she could, um... She had the ability to predict the future, and that's why she that's why she goes to Little Planet because she senses something bad's about to happen. Welcome to Twinkle Park. Like that that's the entire reason that she's um that's the entire reason that she's even in Sonic CD canonically, because she senses something bad's happening in Little Planet. Huh. Yeah. I'm just happy that that for something that she doesn't that they kind of ignore until around Sonic Sonic Frontiers that at least the comics brought that back first. Um because they had a they had a segment They had like a a single issue where she goes um she and the female characters from the IEW comics all to get together and have a little camping trip and to kind of ease the to kind of pass the time she pulls out her tarot cards and it's one of the before frontiers i think is one of the first times we see also egg um it's one of the few times we actually see her using tarot cards outside of sonic cd huh are weird sometimes. Oh, yeah. They have weird influence. If you think that's crazy, you should hear the Morphin Master story from Power Rangers. There's a lot of stories from the Power Ranger from Power Rangers comics that I wish would get adapted. Because the comics sound much more int like I I don't want to hate on Power Rangers. But Power Rangers is a level of camp that I just don't I, I don't know why I can't get into anymore. Despite the fact that one of my favorite series is Ultraman. Um, but there are some really good storylines in the comics. Also, I brought reference to it. I don't know if you saw it, Rumpy, but um, I I actually love that Eggman just for for some fucking reason has a random Chow egg locked up in his little prison cells here. Maybe that's his baby. Yeah, but why does he have it locked baby. up? Why does he have it locked up in the prison? Well, you gotta make it evil somehow. <laughs> Hello, bird. What is your name? Toriyama. I would love to see your dinosaur. It does what? <laughs> I'll never be tired of that joke. The, um... I don't know if that was a joke specifically for 
Dragon Ball Z abridged, but um, You're really nice. You're Android 18 only has two passions in life, one of which is killing Goku, the other one is bird. Uh, I am hilarious, and you will, you will quote, quote bird, 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 Goku. <laughs> That is also a joke that I love from Dragon Ball Z Abridged, is every time they did the um, DBZ Kai Abridged, it, they would have a different character that is that would basically just say, I am hilarious, and you will quote everything I say. Egg. <laughs> well... I mean, this place is called the Egg Carrier. <laughs> and it's just cue to the fucking Seinfeld music. <laughs> After I say that terrible joke. I actually forgot how to activate the minigame. Which is why we're here. For, which is why it takes me a second to, to actually do it. Computer, tell me how to play game. Alright. Uh, for the record, to get the... Um, because there are two power-ups you can get with the with this minigame. One of which you get, you get by doing the minigame the first time. And you have to get... I think you have to get, like... Um, I want to say, yeah, I think it's like 2,000 or something to succeed. If you get more than 3,000, you actually get the, um, you get the second upgrade, but you can only get the second upgrade after the egg carrier crashes into the ocean. Which is annoying because if you get 3,000 the first time, it makes it much, it makes it much harder. One of my sisters, one of my sisters just sent me a message saying, fine, I'll watch the Knuckles series. I immediately told her, I'm warning her, I'm warning her, Wade's sister is insufferable. You're good brother, Glitchy. Like, I, I don't want to spoil the series for her, but at the same time, it's like, I it's just, I'm warning you. That, like, you are going to hate this character with the passion of a thousand sons. Oh, also, uh, inexplicably, Destiny Islands. Huh. Woo! Kingdom Hearts! Kingdom Hearts? I mean... I guess the egg... <laughs> I guess the real egg carrier is light or something. The real Eggman is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Are those robot maids Eggman has? Yes. I'm frightened now. Well, it could be worse. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, right. The switch that I need to turn to activate the door for some reason. So primitive. Yeah, Eggman has to get his exercise somehow. 
That's true. I say that the man has a has a swimming pool, so. Also, it feels. Uh, also, oh. I'm wondering why. I'm wondering why he has a Chow Garden in his in the egg carrier. I don't know. Breakfast. That's barbaric. Well, it is egg, man. <laughs> That's barbaric. Is there any left? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love space That's ghosts. Me. Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Um, me, me and my dad have been watching, uh, have been watching old Space Ghost, Coast to Coast episodes. And we just, uh, we, we got past the, the episode where they spend the entire episode ordering, like, they order a pizza at the beginning and they're just waiting for it. And Zorak just ends up eating his nephew. And... <laughs> Space Ghost's reaction to to Zorak just eating his own nephew is that's barbaric. Is there any left? <laughs> 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 like like he he's gonna criticize him, but at the same time, Space Ghost is still Space Ghost is still too fucking hungry to care. <laughs> Space Ghost is pretty funny. I saw oh, an yeah, eleven no, no. minute ant video the other day. I want to see so if, if somebody doesn't do it, I'll do it myself. I but I want to see an edit of that episode that actually edits that whole eleven minute chase back in, just for the sake of it. <laughs> I I am actually half tempted to do it myself. Me uh, like I said, me and my dad have been watching Space Ghost, and we did see we did see that episode the other day, and that. Because pretty much the entire episode, he he's supposed to be interviewing Conan O'Brien, and the entire episode he just ignores him. Yep, just so chasing it, one ant. I no, just love he, he doesn't. Lines. He's... He doesn't even chase the ant for the entire episode. He just like he like there he does different things to ignore him, but it's like, man. <laughs> um, I love the weird the episode where he interviews Weird Al though. You are small now, but soon you will be Benjo, king of the sea monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Banjo, Banjo, faster than lightning. <laughs> you know, I got to meet George Lowe once. Uh, that, that, is the, that is the voice actor for Space Ghost? Yeah. Yeah, I met him at a convention. He signed, he signed a print for me. Nice. He was saying all his lines, and I was just laughing my ass off the whole time. <laughs> Which, um... He, he did reprise his role as Space Ghost for the uh, Jellystone episode, didn't he? I think so, yeah. That was fun. I I loved that episode. And then, in fact, um, that was the first... Because me uh, me and my dad, before we, before we got into Space Ghost, we actually did watch the entirety of Jellystone. And that was the first nice. ever episode... That was the first ever episode that we ever watched was the um was the space ghost episode and that was fun this is space ghost your name is peter bottomus really i gotta was, catch up on season time. two more but uh of jelly uh, i love jelly Sun. yeah uh i am sad because i don't know if we're ever gonna get a season four but see season three actually brought in other hand barbera cartoons like the first episode of season three has the um actually has the jetsons and I love that instead of instead of um, Spacely Sprocket in charge of the Sprocket company, it's Baba Louie. <laughs> Which is Bobby Louie. But yes, Bobby Louie. Thank you. Which is even funnier to me because Bobby Louie um, in in Jellystone actually does kind of look like a female Sprocket. Which is weird. Um, I also love how they, because they, they go to the future to solve a robot apocalypse, and I love how they do, I love how they solve it, and I'm not going to spoil it for you, because I want that reveal 
I want that reveal for you to be to be authentic uh, when, when you see that episode. Um, they have a Laugh Olympics episode where they actually have um, Dick Dastardly. That was fun. The go. Well, and I love uh, I love in that episode it's revealed that they um, that Dick Dick Dastardly was cheating during it. it. Like they use um they use a instant replay and you can just see Muttley just screwing over the talent jelly stone. <laughs> and and it's like man that's I love that that's like it's it's a very obvious like yeah we know this would happen because that's what they did in wacky races but it's i i love just seeing seeing every time the characters failed and it and you just see um you just see muttley doing all these things also i keep trying to glide i keep trying to glide to the area that i'm actually supposed to get to and i can't do it you can glide why are you having so much trouble it, it's not easy to glide to the actual pillar. I think at some point I basically say fuck it and glide to the... Glide to one pillar and just jump across to the other one. Yeah, because I glide down yeah. to the... I glide down to the normal one and then I just jump across. And slowly inch my way over to the... To the little stone I need. Boink. You're supposed to be able to speed Amy up by using the hammer spin attack. And I keep trying to activate the hammer spin attack, but unfortunately, some some of the times I do it, it'll just activate the, um... Instead of hammer spin, it'll just activate the hammer attack, the normal hammer attack. Um... What else did they do for Jellystone? Well, there was the whole disco episode. That was pretty funny. <laughs> that in and of its uh, like I love that they basically did a zombie apocalypse episode but with disco disco fever and it's funny it, it, I think it's less that they did a zombie apocalypse with disco and more how they cured it because they they cure it with fucking k-pop that's like it is so beautifully stupid <laughs> Aww. Whee! For the record, I'm mostly running around because I, because it, in a lot of these sections, I just don't remember where I'm going. So, you'll see a lot of me just kind of wandering around, not knowing where I'm going. I don't remember the last time I played Sonic Adventure. Because the I think outside of this playthrough, the last time I did a full a full playthrough of Sonic Adventure was when I got it on Dreamcast. Ah, Dreamcast. You tried Dreamcast, but you were taken too soon. Uh, mostly because of Sony. Damn you, Sony, and your cheap DVD player that has a video game console built in. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I forgot that's where I forgot that's where the first part of Amy's playthrough ends. It's just abruptly cuts from the flashback. We'll see you guys yeah. next time. See ya.